Good morning everyone. Welcome to Puppy's four week old video. Yes, as you can see, they're uh, they're getting around really well now. And uh, we have them on the lower bed now. And we have the doggy potties. We got the sun coming in here. We got the doggy potties set up. I have them set up like this for now, but eventually they will be all along. Well, that ain't gonna work either. That'll be they'll be both set up this way. It's just right now we're working them over there, and they're getting along really well. So it won't be long, and um, I can revert them over. But I want to do one step at a time, and the bed will get a little taller too. This I hate this. Uh, it's like a foam rubber bed because the, the bedding sticks to it, and so trying to change it is is something else. But and the other bed is a lot better. Hi guys. They're all getting so big. Yes, you are. And they're ready to eat. But we're not uh, mama fed this morning. So today is the first day. Their puppies are four week old today. So we're, today is the first uh, day of weaning as well. So we will be weaning them. So they're, they're going to get good and hungry because we want them good and hungry. Be, so they will lap up the food for the first time. Hi, huh, guys. Yes. And they're all down here at my feet. And we're going to go over each one and uh, their weights and so on and so forth. And we'll start out with the females, Tessa. And Tessa is a little female here with the, the uh, pink collar. This is Tessa. Yeah, yes, 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 Tessa. No, Gamma don't got food for you guys. And they're all coming running because I'm squat, squatted. And this is Tessa. And Tessa's weight is today 2 pounds. 7.36 ounces. 2 pounds, 7.36 ounces. And then moving along, we are going to Skylar. Skylar, here is the orange collared female. Hey, baby, come here. Gamma wants to get pictures of you. Where are you going? Hey, yeah, we want to get pictures of you. We want to get pictures of you. Yes, we do. Yes. They're all wanting to eat. That's <laughs> They all wanting to eat. Yes, they do. And they all have runny noses. And it's because, it's, again, this heat is um, so uneven in this room. Yes, they all have runny noses. And this is Skylar. And Skylar's weight today was 2 pounds, 8.96 ounces. And next in line, we have Missy. Missy is the one with the purple collar. And this is Missy. Yeah, she's just a Missy. This is Missy. And they're, they're growl. That's uh, Benji. This is Missy. Yes. This is Missy. Yeah, they're such a cutie too. Yes, they are just a cuties. That's Missy. And Missy's weight is um, two pounds, eight, nine, six ounces. I'm sorry. Skylar's weight was two pounds, two pounds, 5.44 ounces. And Missy's weight is 2 pounds, 8.96 ounces. I think I said that wrong. So, um, but anyway, so moving along to Benji. Benji is the little uh, blue fawn here, male. And he's a cutie too. Yes, him, yes he just gave me a hard time with his pictures. He was bound and determined he wasn't going to sit still for them pictures. Yes, they don't like their pictures taken. So this is Benji. And Benji's weight is 2 pounds, 8.32 ounces. And next in line, we have Zeke. Zeke is, he is small. He is tiny. Yes, him is. He just turned 2 pounds today. This is Zeke. This is Zeke. And his weight, actually this whole litter is small for 4 weeks old. Uh, his weight is 2 pounds. 0.32 ounces so um, usually they're right around three and a half pounds um, sunny is actually where they're they usually are so they're they're all on the small side for um yeah don't pee pee on the bed babies over here Zeke so we're still still catching them putting them on the doggy potty um so uh we're going moving along to sunny Sonny is right here. He's the blue collared. Yes, I said, what a cutie. Yes, what a cuties. They don't like this camera pointing at him. Yes, it's, it's a cutie. 
and Sunny's weight is three pounds, 4.08 ounces. Yes, so there we have the weights. And uh, like I said, they're, they're getting along really good. They're getting to the point where they're scrapping. And you'll see that a lot where they, Benji's doing it right now with uh, Tessa. They, they get to scrap. And what they do, this is a, when they, the litter of puppies is actually a pack. And what the, in every pack they have a leader. So that's what they're doing when they're scrapping like that. They're, the, I guess the toughest one is the leader of the pack. So that's what they're doing. Huh, what's the matter, Tessie? I know it's a hungry, huh? We're going to get you guys all something to eat here in a little bit. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. See, so we got Benji and uh, Zeke there scrapping. Yeah. I let them go. And if it gets too bad where they're holding them down and, and the other ones scream and I intervene, but um, I let them go otherwise as long as they're not hurting each other. And Sonny, Sonny there, he's really good on the doggy potty. Really good. He's pooping and peeing on the doggy potty. He's he's doing really well. And um, trying to think, uh, I think uh, Skylar is doing really well on the doggy potty. It, the, it'll all come to him. I, I really praise him a lot when they get on there and go potty. And it's, it's not a big deal to me. It's like I said, I just don't like walking in here and walking it because I walk in here all day long and uh if there's pee and poop all over the floor of course it's on my slippers and then I have, uh, if i got my pajamas on it's you know i have to put leggings on now when i come in here because otherwise because my pajamas drag on the floor and pee and poop all over my jammies yeah just don't get it so uh that's why i really enforce the doggy potty it makes it just so much easier for me to clean up um, when they're all in a room like this, if they, if I can get them to go on the doggy potty, but it isn't a big deal because the pish pads are all over, so they do know that they need, that it is okay to pit, to go on the pish pads. So uh, that that's a good thing. I don't make a big deal out of it. I just pick them up and put them on the doggy potty if I see them, um, just because I don't like walking in it. And we got they got little Zeke down there. See, and they. Unless he starts screaming and carrying on, I don't make a big deal because it you know, looks like they're going to let him up there. <laughs> but they're all getting along so well and getting big and uh, it won't be long, three weeks. You know, I let them go at seven weeks old. If they're, everything is doing, if they're all doing well and um, uh, eating and everything well. I did take Zeke to the vet last week because he seems to have a constant runny nose and my vet just said it it could it's probably due to you know she checked uh, for heart murmur there was no heart murmur or anything like that because I was con also concerned because he was so small I thought I you know because that's not unusual you know I had one in the last litter, litter that had a uh, grade four or five heart, grade heart murmur which is not good so um ended up the people that had that puppy i just said that at this point i just want a good you know because i took it to the uh heart specialist and it wasn't just an open valve they he had several things going on with him that was going to require surgery at a certain age and so the people that had a deposit on him i just told him look at this point i just want to give the little guy a chance at life if you're willing to take take him you know I'm not going to charge you anything for him, you know. So they did. They they did, and they took him to MSU, and uh, they're going to look into having the surgery done, and and hopefully he can live a long life, you know. But it it does happen in the litters. I mean, you can be the best of breeders, and uh, it's just like two uh, humans. They can have a sickly puppy, have a or a sick, sickly baby, you know, have babies with health, heart problems and stuff, and it. Breeding is no different, you know, it, it does happen and uh, I tried to, you know, catch all that stuff before I let them go, just like I took uh, Zeke to the vet, I don't want to send these puppies sick, you know, so I took him to the vet, make sure that he had no heart murmur because I didn't, you know, if he did have a severe heart murmur, you know, I still have puppies available, I wanted her to be able to, uh, to have an opportunity to take another puppy and before they were all gone. So, speaking of which, we do have puppies available. I'll point out the puppies that are available. Um, let me see, we got 
Tessa here. Tessa's available. Yes, her yes. Tessa's available. Her's a cutie. And then we got Skylar. Skylar's available. Skylar's available. I'm squatting again. And uh, Missy, I did have her on hold just because she was only three ounces when she was born. And I thought she was going to be exceptionally small. And that's what I'm looking for. But now she's passed in weight. So, you know, really I prefer not to keep one of my puppies. Not because I'd love to keep one of my puppies. Only because I only have one male. And I would have to outsource my stud in order to breed. So it's something really I don't want to do. But if I can... If I have one that's exceptionally small, you know, I, I will do it. But she ended up passing all the others. So, you know, I mean, growing to be the same size and everything. So, and I think, like I said, I think this whole litter is still going to be small. It's just, you know, and I don't think she's going to be as small as, you know, small, small, like I would hope. Um, so, missing is now available, too. Here's available with a cutie. And then the only male we have available is the little blue boy, blue boy, blue fawn. The little blue fawn's available. So this is Benji. Yes, and look at Zeke sitting over there. He's just a looking. Yes. Yes, you guys are all down here. <laughs> I'm squatting, so they're all around me. Taking pictures of something else. They were sit I'm on the floor, so they're sitting between my legs and trying to, <laughs> and I'm trying to sit and go up and down and because I have to pose and, and then I, I come down and they're underneath me. I have to scoot them off and underneath me. So, yes, I know everybody wants underneath me. Yes. Why don't you guys get toys, huh? Well, I don't have as many toys out as I normally do because they're just starting out. They're still not familiar. Look, guys. You want toys? You want toys? Yeah. They're still not in the real heavy play state yet, but they will. And once they get there, then we'll start bringing them out. Then they'll start pooping and peeing in the to toys. They always do. I don't know what it is about the toys, but they always start, always like to poop and pee in the toys. Don't you guys? I know, you're all looking for something to eat, aren't you? Yes. You're all hungry, aren't you? Yes, you are. But again, this is Puppy's four-week-old video, and this is February 14th, Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Um, yep, and so, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else we're going to talk about. Again, we're going to go to a little bit of higher bed. You'll probably see that in the next video. And the next video, you'll probably see both these uh, uh, doggy potties lined up right here. Right here and lined up, and this will open this all up over here. Um, a little more for them, but they're all over the place. So until today, again, we're going to start the weaning process. So we have to make sure they're good and hungry. I, I'll probably like they ate again. I think at six o'clock this morning, and it is just a little after eleven now. So we'll probably feed about twelve one o'clock. I want to make sure that they're good and hungry. Otherwise, you know, they're going to turn it away and. And then, um, you know, they're going to end up going hungry until the next feeding, and I don't want that. So if I would make sure they're all good and hungry, we've got Tessie there, Tessa there playing with a toy. I make sure they're all good and hungry, little, uh, going a little hungry, ain't going to hurt them. Then they're all going to eat good. Yes. You want up there, baby? Hey, he went up there. You want a little pudge? <laughs> You little pudge, you want to get up there? Good boy. I praise them too when they're up there so they know that's where I want them to be when they go potty. Good boy, Sonny. Yes, good boy. Yes, that's a good boy. Oh boy. So, let me see what else I can talk about. After the weaning, um, they'll, you know, they'll eat like three, four times a day. And I do feed them from puppy food, which is one of the best on the market. It's F-R-O-M-M. -M, and they'll be eating uh, the, the from puppy food, ground it up in a blender at, with water added. And then I add Mighty Dog to it because it's really a small, uh, it's, it's in a can. It's really a strong smelling canned dog food that draws them to it. So that's uh that's what we'll be feeding, and then how they'll mom will be with them one more time tonight, and then she'll be with them one 
time tomorrow night and she'll be all done. And these guys will be all weaned and on, on to regular puppy food within four days. And they'll be all done with the, we'll go to like a, and then I, what I do is I take the, once they're used to the gruel, once they're weaned, then I take the hard dog, dog food and then I soak it in water for about a week so they get used to the hard dog food and then we'll go to the solid hard dog food. Okay, so I think we're going to close the video. We're going on 15 minutes. I can't think of anything else that we need to talk about. We've got Tessa there. She's playing with that little bear. Yeah, that's another thing, too. They start dragging the toys through the um, on the doggy potty, so that I'll be washing the toys frequently. Whoop, I'm sorry, baby. You got underneath my feet, huh? <laughs> yes, I did. So... But anyway, we're going to close the video. Again, this is Puppies, four-week-old video. And we'll see you all next week on Puppies, five-week-old video. We'll see you all then. Bye-bye.